We position ourselves not to be the end product, not to make the full AR glasses, but rather to have the core enabling technology, that key core enabling component. Uh, we call it the Loomis inside, kind of like the Intel inside. If we play this right, we become the key enabler to most of the tier ones, if not all of the tier ones. I want to talk about key parameters that matter. Optical resolution. Um, we're used to these amazing screens in our pockets, on our desktops, and in our homes. So when we look at displays, we want to be able to actually read, read documents, read internet pages. So optical resolution is very important. Color uniformity, I know that's a very sensitive issue to the diffractive crowd here, but sorry guys, it, it's a big deal. You want to see a slide like this. You want to see it completely white. You don't want to see this rainbowing, rolling effect. Brightness, that's another big one. That's, that's one where actually, I'd say, at least 90% of the solutions out there fail. And you know, we're talking about devices that are going to be mobile. And mobility, by definition, is your customer, the consumer, is going to be everywhere. And you cannot control the fact that, hopefully, he'll be outside and using these devices. He'll be in rooms where he's got sunlight pouring in. So brightness is a major, major uh, parameter that needs to be uh, taken care of. So Loomis, we basically design what we call optical engines. The optical engine is comprised of two components. Uh, first, you have a projection module. Think of it as a Pico projector, projects the image into the waveguide, the second component. The waveguide is where we have really a, a core differentiator, the fact that we're reflective. So the way it works is we project the image into the waveguide. The image is trapped through total internal reflection. It travels till it gets to an array of partial reflectors, and the partial reflectors, they fan out the image in front of the eye, giving a large field of view, large eye motion box, and a clean, crisp, coherent image to the wearer. So some key waveguide features. If anybody recognizes this awesome test pattern, you could download it yourself for free from uh, Carl Gutag's website. It really shows the difference between a high quality image and not such a high quality image. Um, you know, when you have issues with color uniformity, you have issues with uh, sharpness, the ability to read letters, that's where everything really, really sticks out. We are best in class. We are the benchmark when it comes to optical performance. It is mass manufacturable. And the lasting image I want to leave here is what we have coming next. We're doing some uh, major breakthroughs on two-axis expansion, which enable us to significantly shrink the form factor to get it super low and natural looking. It's going to be starting with over 50 degrees. We have a roadmap that gets that to 70 plus. Once you get them small enough, you can start getting really jiggy with it and cascading the waveguides, especially when they're cheap enough. And you can start imagining how you get to 150 degrees as well.